and welcome to Getting Started with Assessment Manager, Generating an Assessment. In this video, we will review how to create an assessment, the initial assessment page, the various input fields, template selection, what are templates, assessment roles, advanced settings, review page, and publish. Once logged in to the TrustArc platform, from the left-hand navigation pane, click on the Assessment Manager Assessments tab. To set the stage, this is where we generate an assessment that we want to send out to a business owner or user to respond to. This could be a privacy impact assessment, a data protection impact assessment, a third party assessment, or your own flavor of any type of survey or assessment that you want to conduct. To begin a new assessment, click on the Create Assessment button. On the left-hand upper section, we have the Overview section. Note that mandatory fields are denoted with an asterisk. First, we need to give it a name. It needs to be unique and should be representative of the assessment that you are conducting. We recommend using a naming convention for ease of reference, as well as searching and filtering later on. I will call it HR onboarding process. Next, we need to select a template. What is a template? A template is the backbone of your assessment. It contains all of the questions that you want to ask of your business owner or respondent and can be reused over and over again for multiple processes or business owners. We will cover more on templates in another training. Please note that TrustArc has several out of the box templates ready for you to use. However, should you want to build your own starting from scratch, you can do so or simply tweak an existing template to suit your business. Let's go ahead and select a template. Next, we can enter a description. If you elect to do this, it will be both in the initial email that the respondent receives and in the assessment details when they begin completing the assessment. If you do not, they will see the ghost text as we see it now, and they will be able to enter a description there, although not mandatory. Next, we have the managers section. These are the various roles assigned to this particular assessment that will help us manage this assessment. Note that whoever has clicked on the Create Assessment button will be by default the owner, approver, and respondent. These can all be changed, however. As long as the person that you want to assign it to already has access to your account. Typically, the owner is the person responsible for the business process for this assessment. The approvers are the individuals that are responsible for approving the content of this assessment. There could be one or many approvers. Participants are individuals who do not have a role in this assessment, but are allowed to view the assessment. And the same goes with the non-system participant, except these are not credentialed users, but non-system users. Respondents are the people that are responsible 
for completing the assessment or answering the questions. You can have one or many. You can also have non-system users. Non-system users typically are assigned when you want to send an assessment to a vendor or a third party. This allows this non-system user to not need to be credentialed in your account to complete an assessment. Record to assess is tightly coupled with our data inventory hub module. Selecting a record here will link this assessment with this particular hub record. Alternatively, adding a new record will link this assessment to the new record and create a placeholder record for completion in Data Inventory Hub at a later time. The next two sections, Additional Information and Advanced Settings, we will overlook for now as they will be covered in another training session. Next, the Review and Publish Your Assessment page. These contains the details of your input or inputs with the assessment name, template, who your key individuals are or managers, respondents, and how many sections and questions. If you're not satisfied with the inputs, you can go back and make any changes you wish. And then we can simply click on the next button, review. And once we are ready and satisfied, we can move to the publish. The publish is where we actually send out the assessment to be taken by the business owner or respondent. When I click on publish, I have three options, save as draft, publish now, or publish and start survey. Save as draft allows me to save this and not send it immediately and send it at a later time. Publish now is going to send out this assessment to the business owner or the respondent that you have identified. Publish and Start Survey is in the event that I created the assessment, as we just did, but I am the respondent of the assessment. So clicking it will allow you to start taking the assessment immediately. And you can see here that it has taken me to the start of the assessment. This concludes getting started with Assessment Manager, generating an assessment. Please do not hesitate to contact your customer success manager or support at support at for any additional assistance.